What's going on guys? Welcome to another Ixalan draft here on Magic the Hearthstone Scrawls Gwent. And uh, what are we what are we taking here? Not that. Really? You don't like this card? Uh-uh, buddy. Two cards a turn? For both of you though. No, you just got the City's Blessing. Yeah, but until then it's terrible. A lot of ice and sleeping early. Yeah? You're like, what is it, 7 o'clock? Oh, I guess it's bedtime, I have no lights. Yeah. Yeah. I like this card. There's nothing really great in this pack, so feel free Luminous to... Bonds is good. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. I the week's good. It's all right. Little Lumi. That's what we can call this. We can call it Little Lumi. Sure. Okay. It's probably the pick. I like this card a lot. I'm well, gonna take it. I'm gonna take it because I want to try it out. I was on the internet for 24 hours and I pretty much died. Oh, look, we get this. Oh, Stormfleet Sprinter is pretty good. Can't even be blocked. And it's got haste. No, it does. I didn't even know that. Oh yeah, that's the best part. Is it the best part? I think the unblockable is the best part. I have only one question, Frank. The bananas I buy at the grocery store turn brown too quickly. What do? In a situation like that, what you want to do is freeze the bananas and make banana bread out of them. I hear putting them in a paper bag helps. I don't know if it's true or not, though. No, that's what you do when you hyperventilate, Michael. There's different situations. <laughs> There's a lot of good green cards in here. We got Jungleborn Pioneer, Hunt the Week. XC Blaze! Oh my god. What are we taking here, man? Don't know. Is it Jungle Pioneer? I like Jungle Pioneer. Does it like you back? I don't know, man. You always ask me that, and I don't know. They don't, these cards are not very... Whoa. Explodatron! I could totally write a message. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I accept your message, as is. Oh, Forerunner of the Empire. Hmm. Why would putting bananas in a paper bag help you when you hyperventilate, Michael? Come on, get it together. Luminous Bonds is really good. I'm surprised it's still in here. Yeah, we passed one too. I think it's probably Bonds. None of these blue cards are very good. Nope. <laughs> Got a little bird again. All right. Little bird man. Also, three five that gains us infinite life. Apparently, what do you think? I like a bird. Cleansing ray. Oh, kite sail courser. That's a good dude. Yes. This is probably like the fourth hunt of the week we've seen. What's up, pony boy? That's not what I wanted. Oh. I, I wanted the other guy. I don't know what to do What's now. What's that sheer guy do? Sheer? Yeah. Seer. Uh, there's no H. Oh, it's uh, when it dies, you can return a dinosaur from your graveyard to your hand, and you can just add mana of any color. Actually, it's pretty good. I think we're just taking the Pioneer, though. My EV drafting this set has also been atrocious. Uh, are we just green-blue? Maybe. Like, none of the white cards in this pack are very good. It's a pretty late pack, though. So. I don't know what that means. We wouldn't have passed all those Hunter Weeks. I, I'm regretting it now, yes. I still got one of them, actually. So We could also splash these, I guess. A happy accident. <laughs> it was a very Bob Ross thing to do. I don't miss 4-3-2-2 just because I think the, uh, as far as value, like, I think getting three games, three matches out of your, out of your draft is worth more to me. I 
I posted the first part of our Prey playthrough. And uh, on the stream, I actually called it a Prey through. And the fir- one of the first comments on YouTube I got was, not calling this a Prey through was a misplay. <laughs> and I was like, dang it. But you didn't put that in the video? No, because I wanted to be clear, you know. I wasn't sure if people were still able to find it, if it was it was Prey through. And I don't know. I went for more clarity than I, I did. put it in, like, in, like captions. I'll put you in the captions. Um, will you? Is this card good? I don't think so. It's only good when you're like almost dead. What if you're always almost dead? I guess it's good. Alright. Good to hear it. Is this card any good? No. Hmm, are you sure? No. You're not sure? No. Okay. Kitty Bo with a Twitch Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are Why awesome. No I don't know. I wondered that too. That was very weird. Just call it pray playthrough pray through. Yeah, there that's concise. Oh, this guy came back? Man. Welcome back. Maybe we are just bant. I don't know about no three colors there, boss. We could also just be green white as well. Boost. Hey boost. It's the only game, why do you have to be mad? Somebody's gotta be mad. Somebody doesn't have to be mad. No one has to be mad. Yeah. Just every once in a while. Really? Is someone at the door? Yeah. Can't play much Moto because I'm poor, but I saved up and finally won a couple of leagues yesterday with the Sweet Mono Black Modern deck I was selling. Awesome. Well done. So you won a couple of leagues? That's actually very good. Dang it. Not the rare we're looking for. It's very good. Hmm. My favorite set to draft. Um, <sighs> excluding cubes, I would probably say... That's a good question. Let me think about it. This pack is hot garbage. It's not great. I do like Sailor here because it helps us get to. Maybe we take Curious Obsession. Just hope we get the unblockable guy. I don't hate that. Oh, a little cutie. Now I'll just now I'm gonna take the Sailor memes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Swift Warden. Swift Warden's pretty good. I do like a Swift Warden. He's very swift. It's my, it was Mike's future knocking at the door. No response. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Everybody's having a good time. Hmm. Are you splashing white? I don't think so. I, mean, I I think it's worth it for this and this. I kind of just want the two drops, just so we have more two drops. Whatever, I took it. Seems fine. You don't. You seem fine. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. It was all right. It was an average talk. How dare you? How dare you? How dare I what? I don't know. Awakened Amalgam. Power and toughness equal to the number of different named lands you control. I'm going to take this guy. Man, I wouldn't even play a 4 4 4 4 and they want all that other work for it. Right. If it was a 4, it was a 3 3 for 4, 
I probably wouldn't play it, and that's going to be like one of the most uncommon uses of it. Your stream deck looks weird. That's because they're all off. Oh. So they're so like watch if I. I'll show you in a second. Um, so if I do this. Wow. It lights up. Okay. Oh, my, the volume was apparently all the way down. That's why we didn't hear anything. Is it just another hardy veteran? We don't have other dinosaurs, so this isn't great. We have like one dinosaur. I think it's just a two drop. Gotta get hardy. Oh, crashing tide is good. Another two of these back to back. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'll just take crashing tide. Uh, I guess it's just river darter. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're just aggressively merfolk now. Jade Bay. <laughs> That's my Jade Bay. I think all these cards are. I think we're. I think our deck looks reasonable here. It sure looks like a deck. I wish these were Merfolk, but guy who won the GP today first picked Crashing Tide. Good lord. I mean, if this is like a super aggro tempo format, I can understand. It makes... Oh, a little cutie. A little dumpling. <laughs> oh, awesome. I want one of these guys, too. I Big dumpling. I think... <laughs> Big dumpling. I like how sometimes you just lean your face right against the, uh, the microphone. Someone has to. I don't think that's true. Somebody has to do... I don't think so. Yes. No. Yes. Man, now I'm kind of glad we took that hunt the week. Jeez. Whoa, that's a good one. Seems all right. I think that's definitely the pick. Raging Sawtooth is amazing. Ranging Raptors. Maybe it'll table, huh? Huh? No. Huh? It won't. won't. Uh. Oh, Pounce. And Tishana's Wayfinder? Ooh, what do we want? I think we want to pounce. What do you think? Good talk. Probably pounce. What? Oh, hey. The double entrancing melody deck. All right. That's amazing. Stomp, okay. I also, I do like, um, I do like Hardy Veteran with Pounce because during your turn it's a 2-4 so you can kill something a lot easier. And I, I like it with these two as well because you're obviously going to kill something as, you know, because it's 4-4 and you also get a 1-1 one -one out of it so that's pretty good. And Why? Stomp. That's pretty good. Wow, double entrancing memory. That's Melody. That's pretty good. Yeah, stop killing my joy, you... Never. You joyless... I'm a joy killer. Dirt face. I'm just going to take Primal Amulet, I guess. Why? Because there's literally nothing else for us. I'm not going to play this thing. You don't no. like a short keeper? Draw three cards for What's eight that? mana. <laughs> Nine mana if you can. It's a good value. Me. Good value. Is this good? Is this even good? What does this do when it flips? You'll never <sighs> flip it. You'll literally never flip it. You don't think so? No. You need three spells, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, four. It's also just not a good card. It's like four mana to do absolutely nothing. I'm take this six drop. I mean, it'd be awesome if we flipped it and then we can entrancing melody two things. Like, that'd be pretty sick, right? Sure. Okay. Good. Good talk. Now we need one cut. Probably gonna take this river darter out unless we see some see some uh, dinosaur decks. <laughs> you think mind control is good in draft? Eh, it's all right. I think mind control that can't be uh, destroyed is even better.
Wow. So to be clear, this pack has two Kapalas, a deep, deep root waters, a Kumina speaker and a pounce, all of which I would take. Hmm. What does Kapala do? Uh, spells your opponents cast the target Merfolk you control cost two more. Abilities to target them cost two more. Okay. I think it might actually be speaker here. Which feels weird. I, like, we already have, like, a bunch of fight effects. So I don't think we care about pounce. That was a ridiculous pack. Uh, I like dive down here. It's a pretty good trick. We can name Merfolk. I don't think we're going to have a problem with uh, with mana, though. Probably not. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I wonder if that's good enough. Yeah, sure, I'll take a rootbound crag. Probably cut Pirate's Prize, yeah. You ain't got a lie, Rootbound Crag. See what you did there. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, it was a bit of a meme. A bit of a what? A meme. Oh, what are those? Why are you, why are you the way that you are? How many Merfolk? Is Deeper Waters just good in our deck? Let's find out. How many folk we got? That is the question. Doesn't look like that many. Eh, maybe. We have eight merfolk. So it makes a one one and then merfolk's a hex proof? Mm -hmm. Well, no, it, uh, it makes a one one with hex proof. That's whenever you cast a merfolk spell. Okay. Yeah. Nah. So we still need one cut here. Might be secrets. But secret, secret. I've got a secret. Do you? Yeah. Could also be Hatchy. But little dumpling. <laughs> we have three dinosaurs, which is like, it's just a two one. Yeah, cut little dumpling, I guess. See you later, little dumpling. <laughs> stop saying little dumpling. Why? Oh, God. His name. Why would I stop saying his name? Should I... I think this is the deck, right? This seems fine. Can I call him Little Shemp instead? Oh, my God. Yoakum, Yokes, McOaks. What's going on, buddy? That's amazing. Months. Jesus. 47 months is insane. That has to be the highest, right? Oh my god, Yoakum. I haven't seen you in so long, dude. I was just talking about you the other day. I'm like, I haven't seen Yoakum in ages. I think he's playing less magic, which makes sense. I thought you and Chad Bradbury were... Uh, Chad Bradbury were uh, tied for, for first. Like, Sailor also gives us mana for the double entrancing melody, which is nice. And we also have this. This is also a an Ascend card. Probably cut the City's Blessing. Oh, wait. We're at 23. Never mind. Cut the City's Blessing? That's a, that's not a card. That's a... It's a Blessing. There's a Blessing? What are you saying right now? What are we cutting? I'm not cutting anything. 23. You said, yeah, but you said probably cut the city's blessing. Uh huh. So I have no idea what that means. You'll figure it out. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I'm pretty sure, usually, Yoakum, I don't know if you noticed, I usually have been streaming between like 9 and midnight.
Is this the deck? Is this just it? I think so. Okay. Okay. Done. I think we actually want more blue. We have double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, and we only have these for green. Hmm. Yeah, we need green early pretty badly, though. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, I assumed it wasn't like... I assumed you were just taking a break from magic. I know, I know. like the last time we talked, you were having a little bit of a burnout. Cut the city's blessing means you'll never have more than nine permanents. Oh, that's a good translation. I had no idea. Obviously means we should never reach ten per... Wow, you guys both... Apparently, it's, it's much more clear than I thought. Where's our balloon now? Don't know. Pretty sure we gotta ship this hand. Oh, this is a much better hand. I will keep it. I will put you in the trash can. Is that the bottom of your deck, the trash can? You're the trash can. Wow. Uh, the odds of two entrancing melodies are 100%. <laughs> That's how statistic works. Statistic works. I play as much commander as I can and enough standard showdown that I can get to 3,000 DCI points, which is a personal goal. And then I'm probably mostly done with it. Yeah, I... I that's where I thought you were at, yeah. Trash can Mike. <laughs> is that your name? Okay, don't do that anymore. Never again. I should do the whole stream. Can you never do it again? This guy can't be blocked by this guy? All right. That's pretty good. Oh, we're doing it. I mean, we already have seven permanents out right now. So we're going to have nine. Then you'll have the city's blessing. I know. Well, I won't until I cast the city's blessing card, but. But you'll have it in spirit. Maybe. Oh, look at that little guy. I guess we just get in there. I don't think we're actually... That's little fish learn. <laughs> you're right. That is little fish. Oh, you're going to do a thing. <sighs> Pretty annoying. You think? Yes. What are the odds they have that? Come on. 100%. Apparently. Still six cards. Yuck. Yeah, we have one. Yep. It's uh Be fair, our last card is really good. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's unfortunate. I mean it's not like we couldn't have, like I don't understand like why that like it's not like we could do anything differently because they reveal it. Like we didn't play anything into it. Did we? Oh, we might have played this guy into it? The... Oh, we attacked into it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I just totally missed the uh, very quick tag that says X card revealed. Well, now we're much farther away from the city's blessing. Where was our city? Can we draw a, a Curious Obsession? Is that what that card's called? Sure. Hmm. Pretty sure I just steal this guy.
owned by Delante's Donuts. You ever had Delante's Donuts before? No. One day you will. Oh, good. It's all Reggie. Right. Well, he's dead in 12 turns. He's What can you do? There's nothing you can do. Oof. Yep. Fruit. Make a dude. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be eight. So if we draw a land, we actually do get City's Blessing, which is pretty insane. So if we go land, we can go land Kamina's Awakening, and then we just have uh, Phyrexian Arena online against their two. They have two cards now, which is much better. Seems good. Got it. Ooh, that's a nice city's busting token. <laughs> Quality. All right, now we get to draw two cards a turn. Oh, look at the! I like the end of turn aggressive urge. Why don't attack with this guy into this guy? Like, that's some serious digging they're doing. And we have another entrancing melody in our deck. That's pretty good. Entrancing melody. And you belong to the city. So the last card a trick. I have my doubts. And that's why we just throw both guys in front, because like the most they can do is plus three plus three or get rid of a guy. So that's fine. I'll trade four fours and get a one one out of it. Oh, how nice. I guess you're drawing that guy. All right. Seems good. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. So we could put Curious Obsession on this guy, make it a 4-4, four, four, and then hunt the weak. Mm-hmm. But then, like, this goes away if we don't attack. Yeah. But we're going to draw in two cards a turn, so we don't really need it that badly. I guess that's true. And then it's still 4-4. Four, four. Or we could just throw away a guy. We also know they're drawing this guy, so... What up, Cesaru? Cards were not treating us terribly. We got a double entrancing melody here. We got a Kumina's Awakening. Mike doesn't like drawing cards, so he didn't want to take this. No, I hate drawing cards. I know. You're basically the worst. Or the best. Or the worst. Or the best. Okay. You're the best. Knew it. The best. Worst. Oh. Still being the best is something. I win. I guess. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Mike, have you ever, yeah, have you ever drawn extra cards? Uh, I can't say I have because I hate it. T typical. 
Give me two lands. Oh, this draws us three cards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, cool. Oh, that was a good three, I guess. It was not. So they can just block with three, two, and one, four? No, nope. three, two, and three, four? That's pretty bad. I think I'd rather just throw this guy away than actually sacrifice this yet. Like, we have another Pounce and a Savage Stomp that we can utilize. The block here, we take two. That's whatever. Oh. What? Really? Interesting. Oh, I guess you don't need to count. Yeah, once it's, it's it threw me off because I actually don't see the city's blessing. Like, if I could see this token on board, I'd be like, okay, cool. Oh, that's sad. You get Crushing Canopy in your main deck? Sure. Super aggro. Yep. There we go. This is how you still lose when you draw six extra cards. Interesting. Pretty sure I'm just getting rid of these first two because they're the most obnoxious ones. Yeah, see, because like I'm looking at the board now and I'm like, I guess I don't have the city's blessing anymore because it's literally just blending in with the background. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, it's just terrible. Classic. Well, at least we're almost out of lands. I mean, there's six more in our deck. So, not exactly almost out yet. That was a good one. That is a good one. Sometimes you do need a double blessing. Oh, look, that's a, another good one. Ours is better currently. Well, hey. Ah! That was a good series of draws. Let's put it that way. Had I known Savage Stomp was in hand, I would have done it differently, but now they forces them to block next turn. Mike is the most obnoxious with the ice chewing. Are you chewing ice again? It's all gone now. Dear God, man. Oh, a little Tashana. You got a caco cacophodon. Well, that's pretty good. Now you now you cow demon. Entrancing melody. <sighs> that's sad. Now you just double block and you still get this guy. Uh, I guess we can just hold off. I guess we don't have to attack here. Hold off. Hold off. <laughs> hold off for the memory. You know, shut up. I didn't say anything. You know what you did. I don't. I don't. Why isn't this a merfolk? I don't understand why it's just a human soldier. Get out of here with that. A human warrior. Alright, we have one more pounce. We have an entrancing melody in our deck. Why do they just make all creatures vampires, merfolks, dinosaurs, or... What was the other one? Pirates? Yeah. Why have anything else? It's Captain's Hook. It sure is. Doesn't seem very good here. Maybe he'll just put it on all those guys and move it a bunch of times. <laughs> put it on you, put it on you, put it on you. Go. All right, well. Okay. 
Can we get the entrancing melody so I can steal this stupid Reggie? Reginald? Raging Reginald? Well, not if you call him stupid. What? Wait, what, is that? what does that change? Because then if you call him stupid, then... Uh... Why are you looking away when you say it? Why can't you look me in the eyes? I was trying to think of something. Okay. 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 I'm basing this on complete and utter bullshit, so you gotta give me a minute. Okay, well, take your time. I got nothing. I guess we're blocking. Well, they make a Peter's pan. I don't know. Now we need to draw a creature, otherwise they just give this dude medicine, and it's absolutely terrible. What they need to make is a Rufio. 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 Tell me more about Rufio. He's a cool guy. He's got a gold sword. Hmm. This is actually pretty good. Because they're going to, when they attack, they're going to shoot this guy to prevent menace. Or to, not to prevent menace, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, to prevent us blocking through their menace. And then we're going to Swift Warden it and give it Hexproof and double block this guy and just utterly demolish it. I think. You got to get Swifty on him. You do have to get Swifty. I got Swifty once. Yeah? How was it? It was, it was okay. Okay. Oh, they didn't do it. That's real interesting. I am confused. I'm in confused. Hmm. Another solid draw there. <laughs> Why would you attack there, I wonder? Because you have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Right, but they're going to kill this, and this has Menace, right? So Maybe they don't know it has Menace. I mean, it says Menace right on. That's why they attacked last turn, because this guy was a 7-7. Seven, seven. I would have just blocked it with one, right? We're just thinking outside the box. All right, now you're attacking. Interesting. You better run, you better do what you can. Gonna double block, gonna kill your man. Burr, 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 burr. I assume you drew a trick, so play it. Just play it. So play it. Oh, no, we're going to damage. Oh, boy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> to the surprise of no one. You're at four? I mean, we could have double blocked with this guy and the other guy. The Colossal... Uh, this guy and the 1-1. One, one, to try and, like, keep the Dreadmaw alive, but... That's probably the better play, actually. Sure. Tutor for a tutor. Not like half tutor. Goes on the top, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Does that do anything? I don't know. Don't think so. Actually, we can pounce this guy and attack. Puts them to one, right?
The problem is then they just block here. And then we have two guys on board to their two guys on board, and we just don't know how to deal that last point. Six, 11, 12. There are five lands in the deck. There's one Entrancing Melody. There's one Sailor of Means. Actually, it leaves us... It lets us... It keeps us alive for Entrancing Melody, I guess. No, because then this guy dies from... No, this guy's dead. All right, let's, we have to do this. Yeah. No, we don't want this guy to block is the problem. Like, there's no combat trick that we're ever going to be able to get value out of here. Yep. So you go to one. And if we get Melody, we can steal this guy and attack for a million. Lethal. Come on, Melody off the top one time. We got a 1 in 8 chance. I think we're dead. It's only got a 12 12 trampler. <laughs> yep. All right, can't be blocked by dinosaurs comes in. Sailor can come out. Who will sail his ship, though? My dad. Oh. Good. Hold no, on. Now you know. My mistake. I think everything else is fine. Dive down seems good, but they, don't, they didn't have much removal, so. It is a trick, though. I'm actually just going to add it and submit. Oh, we can't. It's too late. I guess we missed. No, nope, maybe we did it. I think we did it. It's a mystery. Can you guess who? With the clues to tell. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Weird. So long. Farewell. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. Is it? The sand seems good. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. I don't know why that jingle stuck in my head forever, but it sure is. <laughs> it sure is. Oh. Oh! Remember how good this was? Yeah, you it was did. alright. Until it died, tragically. You died tragically. Did I? I seen it. Really? I watched your death. Well, then how come I'm alive right now, Billy? I watched you die. Yeah, well, it didn't last. Hmm. I want to hit a land drop here, so I'm really tempted to just crashing tide this guy. And if we hit a blue, I'm going to be like, drawing for, for days, bye. All right, well, we didn't hit one, so that's sad. Mike the Trash Can Ghost. I don't know why that's his name, but... I have many names. <laughs> a, man, a boy has many names. Oh, they missed the land drop. So did we. Yeah, it's special. Get in there. Do, do your worst. Oh, no. No blocks? Okay. Are you ready for the Shake the Foundation? I am. Kill, kill, we take two, and then we take three more. Seems good. It's not bad. Hmm. Okay, I'll block a new aggressive urge and... No, wow. You'll trade with this guy, but not with this guy? Weird. Oh, I see. 
Hey, look, we did it. Still doesn't really do much for us. Welcome back, Moonscone. Did you mean to submit 41 cards? Yeah, always. 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 That's what uh That's what Snape says. What my dad says. Your dad has never said always in his life. I think he has once or twice. Doubt it. I definitely don't want to give you extra cards. I wish this was 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> they they're missing land drops, though, so maybe we can actually draw, like, two more lands in a row, and then we're like, choice. River Darter actually seems insane here. Oh, here comes double Regisar back-to-back. You ready? I'm waiting for it. Yeah. Uh, Meh. Nah. Alright, that's not a Reggie. Just a little whip tail. I think we're just playing this guy. I like the trick, but they don't have that much removal, and I also just want the guy out, so. <sighs> None of these are great. Oh, actually. Curious Bounce? Yeah. How do we attack, though? I mean, we trade with his whole board if we do, so sure. Deal. So we lost Pounce, Swift Warden, and a Curious Obsession for a 3-3 three, three, and a 3-4. That seems fine. Our hand is still good. They're hitting more lands than we are now, so that's a thing, I guess. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. You don't know. You like? I don't have the answer. You like getting uh, songs like that and stuck in people's heads? Is that what you like? Yeah. Makes it's you feel good about yourself. Activity for the whole family. Who's the family? My dad. <laughs> I'll take a land anytime. Land. Armasaur into Kumina's Awakening is 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yep. What's going on, Brian? Make me feel some type of way. Can you stop playing things that are big and not fun for me? Can you, can you not mess everything up? Can you, can, you just, can you just stop? No. Can you just stop making me feel some type of way? Never. Remember that time we hit lands? No. Yeah, me neither. On top of it. Yeah, I'm just taking this. Like, we know they have Aggressive Urge in the deck. We know they have uh, Shake the Foundation in the deck. Sure. Four it is. It's also turn nine. We've missed five land drops, which is... Jesus. <sighs> cool. Mm. 
Must be nice. It's a reasonably costed dinosaur. Oh, what's that you say? You're limited and you're playing blue and green? You'll never have a way to deal with this. <laughs> I guess you can bounce it for one whole turn. You'll never be able to hunt it. You'll never be able to pounce it. You'll never be able to savage stomp it. On the bright side, if we got to 14 lands, we could actually entrancing melody it. Yeah. Woo. Rares are cool. Water knot. Okay. Water knot. We didn't have any water knots, though. Yeah, I have none of my decks, so. How was that an early concede? They had a 12 12 trampler on board. We were at like 14. Like, I have no idea how that was an early concede in any way, shape, or form. We were on 17 lands, yes. Island to island would be great here. You are correct. I know. That's what I'm saying. Opponent went to five. Doing okay. You look like you're you look like you're tied up being interrogated when you sit like that. Maybe I am. I mean, I don't know, twelve twelve trampler seems pretty ridiculous. What up, my dog's name Pig? Is your dog actually named Pig? Haven't we been through this? Like a bunch? I don't know. Maybe. Island? No. Never. Never an island. An island would be... I mean, like, we just don't have it. It's trample. Like, we have no answers. We're going to chump block it next turn. Uh, it has a 4... They already have a 4-4 four, four on board. Like... How about an island? How about making me feel some type of way? I mean, we're winning with our 2-2s two right now. And our 1-1 one, one soon to get a promotion into a 2-2. Two, two, fingers crossed. Oh, they missed a land drop. But they did mull to, like, none, so. And we also missed a land drop, and we did not mulligan, so. I would literally take two islands at this point. All right. Well, hey, we got one. Oh, yeah, the black, white enchantment is also just stupid. Cards are real good. Cards are good. On the right side, we're probably going to win this game. <laughs> it's looking good. Fingers crossed. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So you block a 2-2 two -two and you still take 5. Sounds good. Wait, he has another mana. It's true. You're not wrong. Make me feel some type of way. Okay. Deal. All right, we did it. I don't want to click reveal hand. Probably did anyway. Because I always go to draw a card and then it just moves upward, which is another user interface discussion that I'm not going to get into right now. You can go fix it? Nope. Why not? Um, It's a good question. Is it because I've never fixed anything ever? <laughs> uh, does, that doesn't help, certainly. No. You playing the air flute? Yeah, this is my air flute. Now it's a trombone. Flutes don't. Okay. Flutes don't. Yeah, that's what you, you corrected said. it. Flutes don't what? They just don't. If you have to ask, you'll never know. Wait, are you quoting me? 
Yeah, you came up with that quote. <laughs> Why not? Why not what? Why not? There we go. Fixed it. I did fix it. This hand looks great. I'll keep it. How do you feel about that? Uh, it seems fine. You seem fine. Yeah. No. Just kidding. You seem terrible. Got him. Oh, that was a good draw. JK. You're, the, you're my least favorite one drop. Wow. I'm sorry. Um. That was a good draw. It's safe to say that uh, our first... Our first match, we just literally lost to Galta. Galta, both games. All right, like that's that feels safe to say, right? That was the name of that big thing. Yeah. Okay. The big idiot. Hmm. What do you think the odds this opponent has one? Uh, I would like to think small. Huh. You'd be wrong. <laughs> How would you know that? I have my ways of knowing. What are they? I can't tell you. Wow. Super secret government stuff. Oh, good. They have this guy. Oh, what if I get a land and I steal this? Can we do that? Pretty good. Land. <laughs> you asked for too much. Apparently. Should I just keep crashing tied up? Oh, maybe I keep crashing tied up and then just... Blah, it doesn't do anything. I really just want to draw. I just want to play this guy. I'll take whatever is coming to me. My ex-wife is my least favorite one drop. Wow. <laughs> How do you know your ex-wife is only a one drop? They didn't do anything. How exciting. Isn't that exciting? That doesn't seem very exciting. Why not? Why? You want to win, don't you? I want to waste this just to hit a land. You want to be a star, don't you? <laughs> it's not okay, man. <laughs> it's not okay. What? I'm just... I got nothing. Yeah, you know what you did. <laughs> All right, we're just going to pass here. Look, they have five lands and they didn't do... Oh, they're going to do something now, I guess. No, nope, I guess not. They have five lands and they didn't do anything. We have three lands and we can't do anything. Who will win on this match of do nothing? My dad. Huh, he wins a lot, yeah. Oh my god, another sailor of memes? Well, now they have the city's blessing if they play something. That sure makes me feel some type of way. Land? Come on. I guess we could just draw two, but like this is going to make me, this is going to give me a bunch of late game goodness. Are you going to draw two? What? Are you going to draw two? What is Secrets of the Golden City? Oh, wait a minute. I'm dumb. Never mind. <laughs> I, I saw your two islands in a forest and I just thought that's two forests in an island. <laughs> How are you going to do it? We could take their one drop, but that seems less impressive than just bouncing this idiot. Heaven or hell, who will win? Fight! Oh, look, we did it. Look, Dad. I'm not afraid anymore. That was a little Guilty Gear X, just so you, in case you didn't know. 
Thank you. I guess, I guess it's all Guilty Gears. All Guilty Gears have said that. There's also lots of them titled with X's in them. That's so. true. There's Guilty Gear X2. Why don't they just call it XX? I'm going to entrance this dude. Who did teach Magic Mikey? Is that your name, Magic Mikey? I guess so. Like the, uh, like the, like the movie, like the, like the hit Broadway show. Can I steal this guy? I really want to. Oh, I took it. If they have a way to bounce it, though, we're in bad shape. Eh, I guess we're in average shape. I'm going to attack with all these dudes. Whatever. And then it's going to be a blowout. They're going to have the crashing wave. Yep, here we go. <laughs> yeah, of course you have it. Why wouldn't you? good technique you got there <laughs> <laughs> yeah good times I'm gonna double block here that's aggressive Okay. Not great. Oh, uh, how do I always call it? I think of the worst possible thing they can do, and then they then they end up doing that thing. So, you know, kind of like that, I guess. kind of hard to play around it i mean I, I don't know they have it is the thing i don't know it's there so i'm gonna play my game as if i don't know it's there because what am i gonna do just wait until they don't have man two mana to bounce something like it's not really possible so we can play this guy and then secrets and then have the uh the thing or we can just play this guy and steal this guy again One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just get the city's blessing right now. Drawing three seems pretty good. Hey, we did it, but we tapped uh, in such a way that we can't actually cast this guy, which is kind of sad. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Remember that? That used to do? No. I don't like you anymore. That's good. Hmm. I guess we both have the draw three. Draw three is pretty good. It feels so much different than draw two. Yeah, drawing two cards is like getting a paycheck. Drawing three cards is like getting a paycheck with a bonus. Elk Tears, I have indeed seen that meme. It is actually ridiculous, and the internet is a scary place. What did you say about bonus? Drawing two is like getting a paycheck. Drawing three is like getting a paycheck with a bonus. A bonus. It's like getting a bonus. Are you making fun of my inflection? You have an affliction? Yeah. This is my bonus. My name is Michael, and I got a bonus. I've never gotten one. I've never received a bonus because I'm not a good employee. It's not because I'm not an employee. I just don't work for good companies. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible employee. Wow. I did watch Twitch for like an hour a day. So. Wow. I like totally got a bonus.
I don't know what to do here. Like, they have six cards. I feel like our cards are stronger, but, like, if they just bounce a thing, this is just a blank, which is pretty bad. I'm totally getting a bonus, because my name is Michael. They used to call me Michael Bonus Barbably Boo. Yeah, only mods can post links, unfortunately. Oh, here, I'll, I'll post it. I'll repost. I'll repost the Elk Tears link, which is just terrifying. It's not, it's not good. Has Mike ever received a paycheck? Good question. I'll never tell. Hmm, that's sad. You should tell. A mic never collects compensation and tells. It's true. I like how you're holding the mic stand there. Is it a good technique? It's a U stand. <laughs> what? Oh, God. I don't understand your language. It's a U stand. Because it's a mic stand. That was not a hard joke, my friend. Oh, look at this little cutie. All right, if that's if this is the caliber of cards you have, I am okay. play fat daddy it is a fat daddy i just don't know which fat daddy to play probably the bigger one you like the bigger fat daddy mm -hmm. awkward chat feel is right is this guy getting countered are you countering my fat daddy are you trying to figure out which counter spell you want to use to counter my fat daddy Static suicide? What's going on, buddy? <laughs> they prefer the term rotund father. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, portly paternal unit. Sure. Big boy. He hornswoggled us? Yep. Dang. He just wrestled us. He just midget wrestled us. Wrestled us? Yeah. Midget wrestled us? Yeah. What does that even mean? You know the famous wrestling midget Hornswoggle? Well, well, <laughs> uh, no, he's a dwarf, Michael. They don't prefer... Yeah, did you really call him a midget? Come on. That is not politically correct. They prefer dwarf or a little person. You don't know that? Did uh, you ask everyone of them? Yeah, no, I guess I didn't. I guess that's a good yeah, point. That's what I thought. <laughs> Do we have enough mana to steal it yet? No. No, we don't. I think I'm going to play against this card. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on. Now that, my friends, is a thick boy. Oh, wow. How much toughness do we have on our whole team? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're literally wow. one shy. It's funny because I made a joke about it at the beginning. joke isn't funny anymore no it's not you can i steal it look. again yeah steal mistbinder so i can block i only have to all i have to do is put my entire team in front of their one dude Oh, 
At least it's just hilarious now, right? Sure. And they also had another bounce spell, so... Just dead. Uh huh. What a virtual devil. Yep, no blocks. What are these comments you're making, Bonesaw? They're really kind of inappropriate, man. I You asked the same question the other day, and I don't even know what it means. This is some kind of board state. It makes me feel some kind of way. Uh, I think you mean some type of way. I don't care anymore. Yeah. We lost because our opponent drew a T-Rex. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little old. I mean, we can board in Luminous Bond. We have no way to splash it, right? Like, we don't have an Evolving Wilds or, like, anything. We just have to literally hope to draw one Plains. Which seems pretty terrible. Yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of it. I didn't refuse to take the white removal. I, like, just didn't take it because we're not white. Like... We also have Luminous Bonds. I'll just as easily play Luminous Bonds, but the problem is we don't have any way to play it. Like, we can't just splash it. It's I'm not just going to put put two planes in. Hope I draw one planes and one Luminous Bonds. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It's too bad we don't have the natural predator of the chupacabra. That's a good one. See, the best part about this is that at least it's going to... Even if we're going to lose... I think our deck is actually very good. Like, I think as far as, like, card quality goes, this deck is up there. Um, the problem is you just... We face double 12-12s with the... I mean, actually, Pirate's Prize over Secrets and maybe, like... Luminous Bonds is not terrible, but they also have, let's let's not forget they have Crashing Waves, Crashing Tide, and Perilous Voyage, so they can just bounce their guy after we put the Bonds on it. So, I mean, I don't even think that's that great of an answer. I mean, they bounced, we literally played Double Entrancing Melody, and they had two bounce spells for the cards that we played it on, so... If we can get an 11-11, we have a Hunt the Week, so we can probably kill it. That's good. So fucking dumbed. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> that was a little more aggressive than I meant it to be. Oh god, it's just so frustrating. Rip YouTube ads. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think... I don't think cursing actually affects it. Oh my I god, dude. Channel.
Like, that's just so stupid. Like, literally back-to-back 12-12 tramplers. Come on. <laughs> Where are the mods to keep the language in check? You're right. Oh, uh, I can say what I want. I, that's true. I just choose not to because I know more than just... Uh, I, I know I have various viewers of different ages that... Shame on you and your fish people. Oh, man. Now I've done it. Oh, God, just so frustrating, dude. But like I was saying, like the best part about this is the fact that it's actually a fine... Now it's just a comical YouTube video where I got busted in the first two rounds by stupid 12-12 dinosaurs. It's okay. Our third opponent could also have one and we could lose to that. That's true. We can go for the, the Galta hat trick. That'd be pretty sweet. Yep, there we go. Every game with this guy. I learned it from you, Dad. Oh, God, the worst. I literally joked about it at the beginning of the round. Shouldn't have like, joked about it. Like, how Bob even? Maybe, I, maybe, I, maybe calling things is just my skill. Maybe it's literally actually a supernatural ability. But it doesn't really work out for you very well. Galta isn't really that good in limited. Oh, I, I didn't know. <laughs> I guess I didn't consider that. It's only a 12-12 trampler for two minutes. I think there's maybe three cards in the format that permanently get rid of it, which is like Impale. Yeah, I disagree. I don't even, I'm not even going to defend it. I just think that's wrong. I mean, maybe it's a poor top deck in limited, but if they have even a 4-4, like, it's still an 8-mana 12-12, which is pretty good. They also have a trample? It does have a trample, so you can't even chump block it. You can't, it just doesn't work out very well. Alright, so something's going to happen here that's really sad. On the bright side, if we had an Emrakul, we could block it. Hmm. That was interesting. You just traded this for this? If we had an Emrakul, we could block it. You're not wrong. You gonna Hornswoggle this guy? I'm actually, I think Cheshire Pred is actually joking at this point. I'm pretty sure they have Hornswoggle and they were just thinking of countering this. Opposition would be great right now. Holy smokes. I also have a hard time believing Galta could 1v1 cause like. That's a good point. Sure. I guess that's maybe, maybe that's what they were going to do. You okay over there? Okay, good call. The problem is Emrakul doesn't even get the cost discount. Like, I think there's still advantage for having Galta over Emrakul. Because I can cast it. Unless you mean Emrakul the Promised End. In which case, it still costs 12 here. Whereas on our board, Galta would cost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It would cost 6 mana. It costs four mana after we play a, a Stalker. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. Wow, both on top.
So Galta costs 7 now, so you can just play land and then play Galta next turn. This is our life now. Anticipation for Galta this stream. I can't even take either of these. I can't play either of... I can't play anything. I can't... This is a blank because all their guys cost three. This is a blank because we don't have a second green. This is a blank because we don't have a second green. This is going to get horn swoggled. So now you're just going to play golf the next turn. Okay. I am ready. Yes, I'm ready. I don't think you're going to want to trade because you have a Galta in hand. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh! Ooh, boy. All right. Well, this is a... This changes everything. Oh, all right. I'll trade 4-2 for 2-4. Two, four. Sure. Okay. Maybe we got a game. <laughs> Can we get some Galt? We don't need that. We don't need Galt to hype in the chat. Oh, you're just raiding something, I guess? All right. Well, every life point matters when you got 12-12, so... Play your little raid critter. Oh. Okay. Weird. Now raid, 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 raid. Okay. Oh, you guys have two. You have two more Falcon Mist Binders. That, that makes sense. Give me that, dude. Attack you for a million. All right, now we're feeling good. We know they have a sailor and one other card in hand. And Galta costs nine right now. So I think we're good. All right, don't care about that thing. Swift Warden is good. Giving uh, giving a little hex proof to the guy we stole is nice. Extra treason would be pretty good against Galta. I agree. That'd be sick. Steal that bad, Larry. 3 2 on 2 2. What makes a Oof. Larry bad? Uh, his aggressive nature. <laughs> this dude's getting countered. Nope. All right. I think we're I think we're winning. I think we're in good shape. I'm feeling good. Hello, Lord Vin. That was a real. That was real exciting. Lord Vin was real excited right there. I think there's medium Larrys. I think that's when you don't cook the Larry all the way. If you kill a bad Larry, does that make you a cool Jimmy? Maybe. Maybe. I'd have to look at the... Uh... Oh, God. Oh, you just threw some cards. Oh, you just threw two. Wow. That's some desperation right there. How does Leroy Brown fit in all of this? Oh, he's he's double bad. He's the baddest man in the whole damn town. He's meaner than old King Kong. No. Badder like... than old King Kong? Meaner than a junkyard dog? Yeah, that's the... Yeah, you got it. All right, so you can't actually double block here. You have to block something else. So, and I think you actually have to block here because if you block here and here, you take six. So, meaner than a drunk. Yeah, I guess we could have just won if we entrancing melody one of these guys, but they do have two mana, not one. So I don't know. There's no reason to. I think we're good. Uh, I think we're good here. My God, 
back to back Galtas. Let's see if we can go for the three the three for in the in the draft. Oh my god, how many sailor of memes do you have? Apparently three, at least. This deck seems like it's full of really good cards and really bad cards, right? Like All right, I guess we're going to alpha again. I hit okay. Let's hit it again. Oh, no blocks. Fog. I'm literally waiting for it. No, all right, sweet. beat the Galta. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's see the third green Galta deck. Yes. Mm, okay. I think this is fine. God, is it ever going to stop raining? Is it still raining? Surprised my room hasn't flooded yet. Also, if you guys haven't done so, uh, hit those follow and subscribe buttons. Definitely helps me out, and I'll love you forever. That's right. Forever. Even after death. Well. Yes. Sorry, did I trigger you? Yeah. Oh. Oh! Jay Trundy, thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. You see what I said about that cutie? Yeah. Okay. Just making oh, sure. I didn't block. Why would I block with my 2 2? Because you don't want to die. I'll just have a 1 1. I'll just block with this 1 1. You'll die. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Are you really you after death? Thoughts on this, Mike? I don't know. We're going to need uh, an I'm answer. Either. I'm going to need to. Take three years, go on a scholarly journey, and come back with an answer. Should I just steal this? I feel like I should steal this. I can't, but I feel like I should. <laughs> I can't actually do it, but I feel like it would be good if I could cheat. That'd be sweet. <laughs> if only I could do that. I'm tempted to bounce this little cutie. I'm tempted to do something, I guess. Just stomp him. This guy? Yeah. Seems like a bad use of stomp, but the problem with our deck is we have really small guys, so... Boom, 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 boom. Get that one damage in. Trade. Trade not. Trade with old Ness Robert. He robs the eggs. 100% he has Galtel. Who plays Dryad without needing to cast a 12 drop? Yeah, I can't argue with that. We can steal this guy and then just attack with everybody. That's the thing we can do. Yeah, we could do that. I guess we're just attacking a 3-3, though. Keep up old crashing tide. Oh, DC Sports 8. Well, look who it is. Oh, look at that little cutie. Is that his whole deck? Apparently, our opponent is a she. 
What's your opinion on sets based on creature tribals and limited? I guess I'm just looking for a comparison to this first thing on Solar. Um, here's the thing about on. Here's the thing about Lorwyn. Lorwyn had like Kithkins, and then they had giants, but then they would have Kithkin giants, right? So like, there were all these overlapping cards that would fit into both tribes to make your deck so much better. Like this, they could have like a Merfolk pirate or a vampire pirate, so that. This is a card that is both appealing to both the Vampire Tribe and the Pirate Tribe, you know? And then you don't have to struggle for picks at the last second that are synergistic with your deck. So, um, you know, that's a thing. The storyline doesn't allow for that, but you can change the storyline. They created the storyline, so they can just write the storyline so that it does allow for that, and then you have a better draft format. I personally feel like the limited format and the constructed format for that matter uh, should supersede the storyline in terms of playability. If you're going to write a story that makes the format less playable, don't do that. Turns into such a negative stream. What's negative? What happened? What? Where's the? What's the negativity? <laughs> Was it negative? Look for the. Bear negativity, the bear negativity. Negativity? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Oh, it was literally just my opinion on how the, the gameplay should supersede the storyline. I didn't think that was negative at all. I actually like the storyline, and I like the game. I like magic, so I don't know. I don't. I don't I know that it's negative. I don't know. I love the story, and I don't think here's. I don't think it's a sacrifice to the story to just be like, "Hey, there's a you know we 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 were pirates and we recruited a vampire." Like, okay, cool, big deal. Except for in the storyline, they're all they're all classes, so can't be mixing the classes. They're called racists, Mike. Or that. You have one mana, huh? That was pretty okay, I guess. What's up, James? Long time no see, buddy. Watsy well, already said they won't prioritize story over card playability. Well, that's... Uh, it feels like that's what we just found out they did, but I don't know if that's true, right? So, oh, look, it's a little cutie. I just have no, re I have no desire to like run this dude into the nest robber, right? You got a trick? No trick? Do I have to bounce my guy? Here comes dual shot. Oh god, dual shot's, dual shot's much better now that I play the 1-1, one -one, right? How many times do I have to play against this card? A lot. Apparently. I need to draw a card. Gross. Whatever. Save this. Yeah, this is definitely not a card I want to waste on their 2-1. It just doesn't seem great. That's a card I'll use it on. Also, this is like the ninth... Ninth Raging Registrar we've had to play against in this draft. Got him!
Mutiny. Okay. Mutes o toots. I guess we just attack with both because YOLO. Yeah, I'll, tr I'll I'll make this trade. Steal that Reggie like you're lifting chocolate from the corner store. You know how you do. You often lift chocolate from the corner store? Do you think I'm really going to admit that to you? We're live, buddy. I thought we were friends. I thought you could tell me. You wish I could tell you that. Wow. I have to rethink our whole friendship. Yeah, I think you should. The last time I ever steal chocolate from the register for you. Well, they didn't find a Galta, so that's good. Wait, have you stolen chocolate from the... No. Hmm. Intriguing. I can't tell if Pendragon's just joking about the earlier comment about the negativity, because... Because <laughs> that's... I don't understand. So you block here, right? And then you take two? Sure. This guy's annoying. It's old needle tooth. It's gonna be hard for him to find the mana to play that and something to yeah. So we lose old Reggie here, but they still go to one. No, they block here. Yeah, they yeah, they have to block here. And then just kill it, so. You can shoot their face. Yeah, so they go to one. I hit okay. Are Merfolk allowed to date pirates? Probably not. I imagine that's a real Montague and Capulet kind of thing. That's a that's a good trade. Their their registrar for their their raptor. Here we go. Here comes Registrar Alpha slash crested herd caller. That's my guess. Sure. That might kill him. I mean, five mana is a pretty good amount of mana for the dinosaur deck, so. Six mana is even better. Interesting. Hey, look at me. I'm a sailor. Uh huh. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Okay, so you're just literally Wow, just mono five five. Mono mono big dinosaur dot deck. Okay. That's actually a pretty good draw. Because <laughs> now they got to play two things, or we can alpha. Or alpha. I don't know what alpha means. I don't even know why I said it. Here we go, Galta. Oh, that's fine. That's actually great. I think that'll do it. Do 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 Everybody in the red zone. None of these guys have double block, right? Nope. We win. Hooray. What do you want to do? I'm gonna take the I'm gonna bring this river darter in. Take out Sailor. No memes for you. Actually, what are our X ones that are real sad? I guess this guy's pretty sad, but I still wanna live this this curious obsession Miss Cloak Herald dream pretty good dream and i'm really i don't really want to make it become a meme you know i don't want my dreams to become a meme so what do you do i guess some type of way pirate's prize could be good hmm. 
think you just submit. Really? Mm-hmm. I just, they have Registrar and they have Shake the, Pound the Ground, Shake the Ground, whatever it is. It's like, I kind of want to take this guy out. Can do it. See if I care. Okay, I will. I'll see if you care. This is 13 creatures, but it's also two entrancing melodies as well, so. Oh, well. We're living one half of the dream. Sand's also pretty good, so. I will keep Arena. Come on, second half of the dream. Don't let our memes be this. Dreams. Dang it. Second five drop is just sad face. Can you stop messing with things? God, no. I absolutely cannot. No, that's cool. I understand. I can see doing a Rick's update on Red White Sunbird's approach. That seems okay. Boom, boom. That's a good trade. Three drop for two drop. Deal. You got another thing coming. Oh, good. That's wonderful. Ah, <sighs> yep. Pal fight spell. Nope. All right, cool. So you play your guy, you kill two of my dudes. That's nice. I do not see myself going to any GPs in the near future. All right. Sure. Oh, yeah, three, because actually, yeah, everybody dies. Okay. Yep, this is the best combo in the format, and it's pretty much unbeatable if you don't have a way to stop it, so that's fun. Oh, yeah, it's really good. It's actually ridiculous, yes. Yeah, I kind of just want to go to the next game, actually, because any dinosaur they play automatically deals six damage to something of mine, so... Really? Oh, that was a good one. Oh, the hex proof is also pretty good here. I mean, they get a free spell, so this is where they play like six drop into Galta or something. <laughs> sure. Mutiny. That's actually great. That's a great hit. Oh, is it permanent? Why are both of what's what was revealed? Oh, the crown was revealed. Okay. How did this mutiny get here? Oh. Weird. Yeah, this kind of sucks because I was going to use actually Swift Warden for Expert was actually really good right here. Got another thing coming. Hey, love your content. Are you bringing the reveal of the stupid game? I have Soulfly Super Friends Control. I can always see you play for Modern Monies or something. Would you do me? <laughs> uh, if you can send me the list, 
I can check it out. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Dinosaur comes down, deals one to everything. Oh, this guy dies, though. They just killed their own guy. Wow. Oh, they chose not to do it. Oh, it's a May ability, because of course it is. Oh, Lefauf, oh, so Lefauf, uh is is a known known quantity in deck building. That's interesting. I just don't think we can do anything here. It's real sad. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. They are they're probably just slower than Galta, right? I agree. Sure. I mean, baiting leaves us with nothing on board, and they have, a, like, both of these guys. I don't know if that's better. Like, sure. Hmm. Wow. It's pretty gross. Wow. Hmm. It's still raining. Mm -hmm. That's pretty ridiculous. Why don't you take it easy, buddy? Can't. Okay, well that's a good that's a good answer, I guess. I didn't consider that. Yeah. Maybe next time you'll be more considerate of others. <laughs> Was I not considerate of you? God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well these are winning hands, no doubt. Keep you. <sighs> These are probably three of the most mediocre cards in our entire deck. Yep. Do you have to do that? Didn't mean to. <laughs> you know the easiest way to not mean to do it? Don't do it. It's harder than it seems. Really? Yeah, I'd have to give up fiddling or something. Yeah, that's true. You would have to do Plus that. fiddle fees are quieter. Oh my god. Well, that guy's probably never coming down. Not for quite some time. I'll never beat these two fours, though. <laughs> You're right. Or this one three. one three. What? Why'd you play the one three? So I can block? I ain't trying to prevent damage, man. I'm trying to deal damage. Um. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Yeah, of course. Why 
does it seem like every deck in this format is just utterly broken? I feel like every deck we play against just has like seven things that you just have to deal with. I don't know if that... I don't think that file's going to work. I think that's a local file. <laughs> Sorry, I'm new to this. No worries, no worries. Just making sure I was like, I don't think... I think that's where it is on your computer. I don't think I'm going to be able to see that. Not with that attitude. That's true. I... I, 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 I I'll just take three. I do like that you only have mountains, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I guess I like it less now. Cool. <laughs> oh, man. Always a pleasure. There you go. You got it. I wouldn't want you to have to win this game completely ahead of me it's weird because he already is still she I think oh sure oh good my guy kills the other guy that's that's nice I was afraid my my tutu would have been a sizable threat to you thank goodness we have no such concerns now I'm really glad. I, I, I do like hearing people say things like, I feel like this set was wedged between the old and new design paradigms. It feels like a format that didn't get proper treatment because I seriously do wonder, like when I'm playing a format like this and I'm not super enjoying it, I do wonder if it's just me. You know, I'm like, am I just do it? Do I just not get the same joy out of magic? I don't know. Um, So it is nice to know that I'm not the only one having these kind of doubts. But, I mean, not to say that they're not going to have a trick here and just utterly blow us out, but. No? Okay. Hmm. All right, can't cast this. Can't cast this, can't cast this, can't cast this. So the only thing I'm able to play in my deck is a 1-1. One, one. A literal blank 1-1. One, one. I agree. It is also hard to enjoy magic when your deck when you only draw three lands and your deck doesn't want to be cooperative. I think that being the case, I probably just done here. That might be true. Yep. I uh, don't think that this is going to work out for us. Yeah. Cool. I mean, even play this guy, we just double block here. We they, we still, still two for one. We're still taking two damage. Three, four, five, six. So we go to four damage and we have nothing on board. And even if we play green like we didn't have, we play like Swift Warden, I guess, which isn't even that good. No, because we still can't play these guys. We're still two turns right, off of these exactly. guys. The only creature we can steal is this guy, which is just terrible. Yeah, we're not winning this game. So we get absolutely nothing for that. So that's fun. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry if that draft felt overly negative. Some people mentioned it was negative in the comments. It didn't mean for it to be. It was just kind of comical. Um, I thought our deck was great. Um... I don't know what a great deck looks like in this format, but either way, if you guys enjoyed the content, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you didn't, Feel free to dislike. And uh, thank you guys for watching either way. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.